All right, so today I'm going to show you how to introduce division um, using the Montessori division board, beadboard. And so first you'll um, have a piece of paper like this and you'll have your students put their name on it and choose any um, dividend. And that's the number that will go here. So for this one, we're going to go with 18. And the first step is to count out 18 of these beads. Okay, and once your students have them, put the, have them place them in a separate container and then you might want to have them double check to make sure they have 18. And we'll set the box aside and keep these in the container. The next thing is to have the students find the divisor, which is this number, and they're going to get these little things. They look like little people, but they're called Skittles. And they're going to get nine of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they lay the divisor, the skittles, across the top here, and there's a little groove where they fit perfectly. So once those are laid out, then they're going to take their beads from their container, and they're going to distribute them and give each skittle one at a time, going all the way across. Now, once they get to the end, if they have some left in their hand, they're going to distribute them to equally to the next row. So each skittle gets another. This is also um, a great way to see who has good fine motor skills as kind of a side skill. And then once they're all distributed, there's none left over. So in the box, or sorry, in the answer section, the answer is how many rows there are. So there's two rows, so the answer is two. So 18 divided by nine equals two. Now the dividend is going to stay the same for all of these. So your students can go ahead and write 18 all the way down. And then they're going to take everything off the board. And all the beads go back in the container. Since they're already counted out 18, they don't want to put them back in the box because then they'll have to count them out each time. So next, they're going to do 18 divided by eight. So they'll put eight Skittles across the top. And they already have the 18 beads counted out. And they're just going to follow the same procedure. So distribute equally, but this time they're going to stop when they get to eight. So there's no ninth Skittle because the divisor is eight. So we still have some left over. So we'll distribute again until we get to the end. And then your students are going to discover that there's not enough to distribute a complete third row. So they have to be able to give each Skittle one. So instead of doing this, these, we tell them, are the remainder. So 18, sorry, 18 divided by 8 equals 2. And this is where the remainder goes, remainder 2. Now, you can have your students circle the answers that have no remainders when they're all done, because those are the ones that are their division facts and those are the ones that they have to memorize. 
Now, once they've completed this page, on another day, or if they want to keep going, they can get a new page and pick a different divisor, or sorry, a different dividend. So maybe they choose 36 this time. So they would write 36 in all these rows, and they would count out 36 of these little beads. Now sometimes they might discover when they are using the division board that they have beads and they've run out of places to put them um, because this stops at nine. If that's the case, then that's okay. You can just tell them that they'll learn that at another time, but they'll discover that on their own, so that's fine. And um, they can do as much of this practice as they want, and once they know how to use the board, if you leave it out and you leave these papers out, you can make a little book like this, or you can just have the loose papers, then they can come and do the practice during math time, during independent time, um, anytime they want to practice division. And that is it. All right.